Welcome to the solution for Mechanical Engineering 1230 Statics Quiz 7 at Dunwoody College of Technology. We're given a distributed load and we're need needing to find um, the equivalent resultant force and its location. And we can do this a couple different ways. Um, the way I'm going to show here one way we could do this would be to find an equation for this this line. Oh, there we go. Equation for this line, and find the area between that from this point to this point, and use our integration to do that. And then another equation for this line going this direction, and find its integration from that point to the end of the slab, and add those two to er together to find our total resultant force. Again, do our moments and find the location for that. Or we can do a uh, different approach here. It would be to uh, break this into a couple rectangles. I, uh, I could do one here where this is 50 high, and then do this section here as a triangle, then do another one on the right side where we have 100 high, and then another triangle down here and find those four areas, and then do the uh, resultant force for all four of those and the moments. So that's the way I'm going to approach that here. So starting. Let me clear out what I what I just wrote on there so we can have a clean start. So I'm going to break this into four areas and take my horizontal area here. So I'm going to call this area one. I'm going to call this section down here area two. And then on this other side, I'm going to come across. This is going to be my area three on top. And this is going to be area four, that triangle on the bottom. So area one. So I have 50 feet per uh, pounds per foot times 12 feet. So FR FR1 equals 12 feet times 50 pounds per foot. So that's going to be 600 feet, uh, 600 pounds, excuse me. And uh, that's acting at. I'm just going to call it x1. It's going to be six feet from O. It's just a nice rectangle, so it's going to be half that length. Area 2, so FR2 is going to be 1 half my base times my height, so I'm going to have 1 half, 12 feet. My height here now is 300 pound per foot. Subtract 50 pound per foot, so I'm going to have 250 pound, oh, pound per foot. So I get 6 times 250, that gives me 1500 pounds and x2 so it's going to be acting closer to the higher side it's going to be one third from there so it's going to be acting here so it's going to be x2 from the left side so x2 is going to be two thirds of this value so dividing 12 by 3 gets us 4 it's going to be 8 feet from O. area 3 FR3, we have another rectangle again, 100 pounds, and it's acting over 9 feet now, so we have 9 feet, 100 pound per foot, 900 pounds, and it's going to be acting right in the middle here, so we have 12 feet plus 4.5, so X3 is 13.5 feet, and last, area 4, that lower triangle on the right, oh, area 4. FR4, one half our base, which is 9 feet, times our height, which is now 300 minus 200, uh, 100, excuse me, which makes it 200 pound per foot. So we're going to have 4.5 times 200, so this is 900 pounds again. And X4, we're going to be one third from this side, so we're going to be 3 plus that 12, because it's 15 feet. Alright, so we found FR for each area, total FR, it's going to be FR1 plus FR2 plus FR3 plus FR4, so that equals 600 plus 1500 plus 900 plus 900, so 1800 plus 1800. 
uh, oh, uh, 2100, excuse me, 3900, so FR, oh, FR, 3900 pounds. Alright, now I need to find my moments from each of these guys and find where X bar for this FR is acting to create that same moment. So the sum of the moments around O equals, we're going to have 600 times 6, 6 feet times 600 pounds. Again, these are acting up, so now these would be causing counterclockwise rotation positive moments. So I don't have a negative sign in there. Plus, my next moment is 1,500 times 8 feet. Next one is plus 13.5 feet times 900 pounds. And then last, plus 15 feet times 900 pounds. So I get 3,600 plus 12,000 plus 14,850 plus 13,500. So my total moment is 43,950 pound foot. And my x bar equals m over FR, X bar equals 43,950, that's pound foot, over my 3,900 pounds, so X bar equals 11.27 feet, or to three significant figures, 11.3 feet. So my resultant force would be almost at this point, be acting right here. Oh, there's FR. And that'd be 11.3 feet from from point O. So we found the area for each of these sections where we had a rec regular shape, whether it was rectangular or triangle, using those area calculations and the center of uh, centroid calculation for our x position and we could find our moments divide our moment by our resultant force gets us our position for that resultant force to find the equivalent system